So um, I've been lucky enough to meet, uh, meet Clint, Eastwood, Clint Eastwood excuse me, several times uh, over the years. And one of the things that surprised me the most when I first met him was just how great his sense of humor is. And I wondered what surprised or delighted each of you um, about your Clint Eastwood experience. Yeah, well, that's, that's for sure. That's definitely one of them. You know, you, you kind of expect to see Dirty Harry roll in and uh, set you straight. But uh, he's very funny. And he's also just incredibly kind and gentle. Um, and that's a real nice energy to have around a movie set because they're usually just so chaotic and they're so, they, nobody knows, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing and, and that's not the case here. It's, it is uh, it, it, very efficient. I remember we were in a holding room at AFI, and for some reason we started talking about chickens. He has chickens at home, and so it was like... It was like, <laughs> like a lot of them, yeah, too, Yeah, like right? 33, yeah. and they're all different, really wild kinds. And I thought, you know, here we are talking about chickens and turkeys and all this stuff. And I just thought, you know, dude, that's he's a righteous dude. Yeah. Does he eat them? Who knows? Oh, I didn't ask that. <laughs> See, that's why he got Watson Bryant's role. <laughs> <laughs> he asked those questions. He's sardonic. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you, you got to spend some time with um, Bobby, didn't you? Um, can you tell us a little bit about that and also her cake baking? She made yes, she cake. baked me a pound cake, and uh, <laughs> we sat and talked for a long time. It was my birthday, and and uh, we went through the script, and she told me exactly what was wrong and what was right, and um, she was invaluable. She really was, and uh, Kent and Kevin gave me a, an advanced chapter of their book, which was very, very helpful. And I, I love the scene where uh, your character, Sam, um, tells Richard, uh, to get angry, why isn't he angry? It's such a, a powerful yeah. scene. Can you tell us a bit about just creating that on-screen relationship with Paul? Yeah, Sims? well, yeah. Paul and I got together in New York a few weeks earlier and, and read through both versions of the script. And on the day of that scene, actually, Paul, it was, it was, he had been working very hard. It was the second to last day. And I, in my mind, I, I was supposed to get angry at the end of the scene, but there was some stuff between me and John, and Clint kept saying, you know, go for, go for John, go for John, he kept saying. Go get him. And I was like, but I was kind of wanting to save the anger for the end of the scene with Paul. And so I, I, I kind of was sort of confused, but then he kept saying, go after John, go after John, fuck with him, fuck with him. And, and, uh, and I was thinking, I want to save it for the end when I yell at Paul. But, but, but I, so he had me come at you a little bit, and then we went at each other. And then that, that scene was a very long scene, and we took a few versions, and, and on the day I had some energy. So I was able to wake up Paul a little bit because I, I, had t I had had a break and Paul had been working just tirelessly. And, and so I came back with some energy and I yelled at him and all day. As we said about Clint Eastwood's sense of humor at the beginning, there was actually a lot of humor in the film. People were laughing a lot in the screening. I was that. And uh, John, on a more like, sort of lighthearted note, there's a Macarena scene, which is obviously a big hit. It's very period, late 90s. Um, your character doesn't join in, but have you, you know the moves, have you, pulled, have you pulled them out on the dance floor? Well, I, I certainly haven't pulled them out on the dance floor in some time, but uh, I, I can't remember the last time I heard that song even, but I remember, I remember hearing that song for the first time and the whole bar doing that whole thing, and I was like, what, what is happening? I, I, hadn't, I hadn't heard it. Uh, the, the whole fad had escaped me, and I, my friend was like, dude, it's the Macarena. Everybody knows what you're doing. I was like, I didn't, I didn't know. It was kind of cool. <laughs> John, Kathy, Sam, thanks very much. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!